Chapter 1 Taking Off with Tableau Summary Tableau's visual environment allows a rapid and iterative process of exploring and analyzing data visually. You've taken your first steps toward understanding how to use the platform, you connected to data and then explored and analyzed the data using some key visualization types such as bar charts, line charts, and geographic visualizations. Along the way, you focused on learning the techniques and understanding key concepts such as the difference between measures and dimensions, and discrete and continuous fields. Finally, you put all of the pieces together to create a fully functional dashboard that allows an end user to understand your analysis and make discoveries of their own. In the next chapter, we'll explore how Tableau works with data. You will be exposed to fundamental concepts and practical examples of how to connect to various data sources. Combined with the key concepts you just learned about building visualizations, you will be well equipped to move on to more advanced visualizations, deeper analysis, and telling fully interactive data stories. Chap Chapter 2 Connecting to Data in Tableau Summary This chapter covered key concepts of how Tableau works with data. Although you will not usually be concerned with what queries Tableau generates to query underlying data engines, having a solid understanding of Tableau's paradigm will greatly aid you as you add. Understanding of Tableau's paradigm will greatly aid you as you analyze data. We looked at multiple examples of different connections to different data sources, considered the benefits and potential drawbacks of using data extracts, considered how to manage metadata, and considered options for filtering data. Working with data is fundamental to everything you do in Tableau. Understanding how to connect to various data sources, when to work with extracts, and how to customize metadata will be key as you begin deeper analysis and more complex customized metadata will be key as you begin deeper analysis and more complex visualizations, such as those covered in Chapter 3, Moving Beyond Basic Visualizations. The Tableau Paradigm Connecting to Data Managing Data Source Metadata, Working with Extracts Instead of Live Connections Filtering Data. Chapter 3 Moving Beyond Basics Visualizations
page 128 summary we've covered quite a bit of ground in this chapter, you should now have a good grasp of when to use certain types of visualizations. The types of questions you ask about data will often lead you to a certain type of view. You've explored how to create these various types and how to extend basic visualizations using a variety of advanced techniques, such as calculated themes, jittering, multiple mark types, and dual axis. Along the way, we've also covered some details on how dates work in Tableau. Hopefully, the examples of using calculations in this chapter have whet your appetite for learning more about creating calculated fields. The ability to create calculations in Tableau opens endless possibilities for extending analysis of data, calculating results, customizing visualizations, and creating rich user interactivity. We'll dive deep into calculation in the next two chapters to see how they work and what amazing things they can do. Chapter 4 Starting an Adventure with Calculations and Parameters Summary calculations open amazing possibilities in Tableau. You are on longer confined to the fields in the source data. With calculations, you can extend the data by adding new dimensions and measures, fix bad or poorly formatted data, and enhance the user experience with parameters for user input and calculations that enhance the visualizations. The key to using calculated fields is understanding the four main types of calculations in Tableau. Row-level calculations are performed for every row of sources data. These calculated fields can be used as dimensions or they can be aggregated as measures. Aggregate calculations are performed at the level of detail that's defined by the dimensions that are present in a view. They are especially helpful, and even necessary, when you must first aggregate components of the calculation before performing additional operations. In the next chapter, we'll explore the third of the four main types of calculations level of detail calculations this will greatly extend your ability to work with data and solve all kinds of interesting problems chapter 5 leveraging level of detail calculations Page 185 Summary Level of Detail Expressions Greatly Extend What You Can Accomplish With Calculations You now have a tool set for working with data at different levels of detail. With fixed level of detail calculations, you can identify the first or last event in a series or whether a condition is ever true across entire subsets of data. With include expressions, you can work at lower levels of detail and then summarize those results in a view. With exclude expressions, you can work at higher levels of detail, greatly expanding analysis possibilities. In the next chapter, we'll explore the final main type of calculations, table calculations. These are some of the most powerful calculations in terms of their ability to solve problems, and they open up incredible possibilities for in-depth analysis. In practice, they range from very easy to exceptionally complex. Chapter 6, Diving Deep with Table Calculations page 219 to 220. Summary We've covered a lot of concepts surrounding table calculations in this chapter. You now have a foundation for using the simplicity of quick table calculations and leveraging the power of advanced table calculations.
We've looked at the concepts of scope and direction as they apply to table calculations that operate relative to the row and column layout of the view. We've also considered the related concepts of addressing and partitioning as they relate to table calculations that have computations fixed to certain dimensions. The practical example we've covered barely scratch the surface of what is possible, but should give you an idea of what can be achieved. The kinds of problems that can be solved and the diversity of questions that can be answered are almost limitless. We'll turn our attention to some lighter topics in the next couple of chapters, looking at formatting and design, but we'll certainly see another table calculation or two before we're finished. Chapter 7 Making Visualizations That Look Great Page 250 Summary The goal of formatting is to increase effective communication of the data at hand. Always consider the audience, setting, mode, and consistency as you work through the iterative process of formatting. Look for formatting that adds value to your visualization and avoid useless clutter. We covered quite a few options for formatting from fonts, colors, lines, and more at the workbook level to formatting individual sheets and fields. We discussed how to customize formatting for numbers, dates, and null values and how to use these techniques to bring value to your visualizations. With an understanding of how formatting works in Tableau, you'll have the ability to refine the visualizations that you created in discovery and analysis into incredibly effective communications of your data store. INF the next chapter, We'll look at how this all comes together on dashboards. Chapter 8 Telling a Data Story with Dashboards Page 301 Summary When you are ready to share your discovery and analysis, you will likely use dashboards to relate the story to your audience. The way in which you tell the story will depend on your objectives, as well as your audience and the mode of delivery. Using a combination of views, objects, parameters, filters, and legends, you can create an incredible framework for telling a data story. Tableau allows you to specifically design layouts for different devices to ensure that your audience can invite your audience to participate in the story. Story points will allow you to bring together many snapshots of dashboards and views to craft and present entire narratives. Chapter 9 Visual Analytics, Trends, Clustering, Distributions, and Forecasting Summary Page 336 Tableau provides an extensive set of features for adding value to your analysis. Trend lines allow you to more precisely identify outliers, determine which values fall within the predications of certain modes, and even make predictions of where measurements are expected. Tableau gives extensive visibility into the trend models and even allows you to export data containing trend model predictions various factors. Distributions are useful for understanding a spread of values across a data set. Forecasting allows a complex model of trends and seasonality to predict future results. Having a good understanding of these tools will give you the ability to clarify and validate your initial visual analysis. Next. We'll consider some advanced visualization types that will expand the horizons of what you are able to accomplish with Tableau and the way in which you communicate data to others.
Chapter 10 Advanced Visualization Summary Page 358 We've covered a wide variety of advanced visualization types in this chapter. We've considered slope and bump charts that show changes in rank or value, step and jump lines that show discreetly changing values, and unit charts that help materialize abstract concepts. There is no way to cover every possible visualization type. Instead the idea has been to demonstrate some of what can be accomplished and spark new ideas and creativity. As you experiment and iterate through new ways of looking at data you'll become more confident in how to best communicate the stories contained in the data. Next, we'll return briefly to the topic of dashboards to see how some advanced techniques can make them truly dynamic. Thank <laughs> you. 